Uh, so I wrote this uh, essay um, originally to potentially publish a, um, a book or a series of essays on, uh, on leadership and it turned into uh, something that I presented here at AMT for our leadership team. Leadership is a skill that transcends the human experience. I think sometimes we forget just how universal the concept is when we use the term in the workplace. We tend to forget that true leadership, when boiled down to its basic ingredients, is the same whether we are leading a football team, a robotics team, or an engineering firm. The actions required day to day may be different, but the core philosophy remains intact. To be a successful, well-rounded leader is a complex achievement that many authors, speakers, have tried to boil down into books, essays, and speeches. At the end of the day, leadership is something that we must that must be adaptable. We need to understand leadership at its basic level so we can reapply the concepts to work in our environment. At its core, leadership boils down to trust, and there are no shortcuts when it comes to trust. Trust is earned the hard way through repetitive action. Essentially, you must be a leader before you can ever truly be a leader. You must act like a leader and do things leaders do before your leadership is ratified by the ones you lead. And once we reach that, the work doesn't stop because as we all know, trust is more easily lost than it is gained. If I could boil down the symptoms of true leadership into one word, it would be gumption. I have tossed around the idea of gumption being an untrainable talent, something that some people just have. I am beginning to believe that anyone can exhibit gumption and that it is a combination of an individual's personal drive and the correct leadership. The def dictionary definition of gumption is shrewd or spirited initiative and resourcefulness. If anyone needs an example of what I mean when I say gumption, look at Jason Marcasino. Gumption is the team member who just does exactly what needs to be done. It's a team member who never has an excuse. We all know who these people are. And I think we can all agree if everyone had Jason's natural level of gumption, well, at the end of the day, we could do more with less. It is my belief that through high level leadership, we can increase the amount of gumption exhibited by our team members. At this point, we've touched on a little bit of everything. We touched on what leadership boils down to, trust, and how that is something we must constantly work for. We talked about one of the most positive symptoms of leadership, which is a team who will go to the end of the earth for their leader and their teammates. So you should all be wondering, what do we actually have to do? Well, that should be kind of obvious at this point. If as a leader, we want to trust that our team members will go to the end of the earth for us, they need to trust that we'll do the same for them. We also need to remember that most of us are leading engineers. We're not leading a kid's soccer team. We are not leading a minimum wage employee at Walmart. We are leading young men and women who chose a career path known to harbor the smartest individuals on the planet. On top of that, we do our due diligence to make sure we are hiring people who have the traits of the ideal team player, hunger, humble, and smart. We have to honestly ask ourselves as leaders, what do we need to do so that our engineers feel so inspired that they put forth a Jason Marcasino amount of effort every day? We can start by letting our engineers simply just be engineers. I believe the most important first step we can take is decision making, but that is not as easy as it sounds. The goal here is trust. So when our engineers come to us to make the difficult decisions, trust will be built if, one, we make definitive, clear decisions, two, we make the decisions in a timely manner, and three, our engineers know that if the decision was incorrect, we as the leaders will take full responsibility for the outcome. My mentor once told me, as my career progresses, I will evolve slowly from an individual contributor who makes hundreds of small technical decisions every day to eventually a leader who will make sometimes less than five decisions a day that will be far more important with many more people affected by the outcome. This is what I believe to be the first step, accepting the burden and responsibility of the hard decisions. Leader be led. It is a mantra I have grown to live by. You either let life take you where it wants, or you dot your I's, cross your T's, and do the work to stack the odds in your favor. People tend to blame others, repetitive success on luck. This is a trick to avoid the obligation of comparing themselves to the leaders of the world. It is my goal to build a team here at AMT with such strong leadership and positive culture 
that others make excuses so they don't have to be compared to us. But that goal requires action. So start leading today so you can be a leader tomorrow.